Hello again YouTube. Welcome back to our garage. We're going to take a little bit of a break from the Jaguar here. We're waiting on a few things to come in and uh, I got some extra time so we're going to start on the interior on the 82 Vet. If you remember when we got the car the interior was pretty roached. So we're going to redo the interior door panels, new seats, carpet, got a new dash over there in the box. And also while we have it out, we're going to redo the door jams. Uh, we're going to re repaint the door jams, new weather stripping. Up in here is pretty bad. This weather stripping it's no good. Get all this painted, cut all this in here. And um, we're going to paint paint from here up but uh, also too I wanted to mention we had picked up a set of uh, glass tops for these I found these on the marketplace and uh, my dad went to uh, Carlisle to meet the fellow who had them uh, I believe the guy was from New Jersey so that's about halfway for us so got a real good deal on them and they really look nice the other ones are were the painted fiberglass and they were all scratched up and it was uh what real pretty so these glass tops really make a nice addition to the car so while we have it apart uh we're going to take this trim off of here too repaint this trim maybe get new glass in the glass has got a crack over there see about that so we're going to start tearing it out This window doesn't work either. We got to fix this window while it's apart. But, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna start tearing into it here and see what we get done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this passenger side door panel out. There's a few, uh, few screws in here. Up one of the uh, armrests and a couple other hidden ones here. I'm sure Some clips. So we know this window doesn't work. I'm not sure what the issue is, but we took get this access panel off here. Took a few of these screws out. So we're gonna get this off and do some testing and see what uh, see what the problem is here. All right, well. After doing some testing here, we've discovered that uh, the motor's bad. I got power to the plug. When I hit the switch, it's lighting up. So I'm going to pull this motor out and get a new motor for it. Well, that's it for tonight. I uh, got the whole door pretty much cleared of anything inside here. Um, got the dash, this corner of the dash loose. Got all the wiring pulled, pulled through. I want to make sure we have uh, everything out of here to get this cleaned up and painted. And then there was a little bit of, a little bit of rust up on the top of here. We'll cut this out, weld a piece in get a pattern off the other side yet get the old weather stripping off so get this all cleaned off got uh, six or eight bolts to take out of the door hinges and let's, uh, let's see how it goes Always a good 
good bit there for being empty. One of our reasons for taking this off is I have a little pinhole right here I found yesterday. So I want to cut this out, put a little patch in. Everything else seems to be pretty good there. Bottom of the door is real nice. But typical front corner like this. And have a little bit of rust on it. And then we have his other issue up here too. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up, put a little patch in here too. And, you know, we don't wanna don't wanna buy another door for it. You know, got our patch done here. You can see this is the uh, what I cut out. Put a couple pieces in here and uh, got the old weather stripping. Fitted, again, was able to get this hole uh, drilled for this fastener and then drilled this hole out to get access to this weather show. Um, well, this window felt screw here. So, got that done. Put a little plug weld in here, that's about all it needed. So, we're gonna put a little bit of filler on and uh, get it primed. We've got, we got a coat of high build primer on here. Let these spots dry. So while that's drying, we're going to start on getting the uh, some of the interior trim out of here. All these interior pieces. This all has to come out to paint this and to get the uh, dash and stuff out here. So start tearing some of that out. All right guys, so uh, we've got everything ready here to paint on this side. I actually forgot to film here, so I started started doing some of the touch-up work. But you can see what we're painting. We're just doing the jams up along the T-tops here. And we're putting a fresh coat of paint on this after the little repair work we did. Uh, hitting the jams up in front, freshening everything up. I'm gonna redo the mirror and uh, this door here. That'll make it look a little bit better. And uh, we're going to hit this side here too, up to right here. Uh, next time we'll do this GM and this door. I don't want to get everything prepped and get the have two doors apart. So, uh, so let's get painting. All right, so we got this part of the car painted. Just hit these uh, window frame real quick here. Get a little bit of paint over top of the 415. Got this cut in. Come out pretty decent. Freshen up a little bit. You can see the uh, where we soft mast here on the edge. Just a little bit of, of an edge here that'll just come off right off of the buffer. Just freshen up a little bit. Paint the mirror. Got it done. Got the door done. Pretty decent, that'll work. So next step is to uh, get this area here blacked out and get the weather stripping on. All right, so we get, uh, get some of our door together here. We got the mirror back on, some of the hardware in. 
Um, got the weather stripping on the pillar there. And started to put some of this stuff back on. Uh, so I'm waiting on parts. Uh, we're putting a new door handle in. The door was broke. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on a power window motor. So I really can't do nothing else on this side till that stuff comes in. So we're going to start on that door over there and get it tore off. And we're going to do the same thing to that side that we did over here. So let's head over there. Now we got the driver's door off. I'm waiting on some parts of the passenger door, so I figured we'd get this one off here. Um, these, these hinges are wore out, so I got new bushings and pins for that. We put them in the other side too. I didn't, didn't, didn't mention that before. And we're working on getting the rest of the mechanism out of the door here, the striker. And we got to fix this little bit here. We're going to cut this out, put a piece in. And this door here is a lot better shape than the other one was. A little bit of surface rust right here for some reason. Not, not sure why. But we're going to finish getting this apart. Take a photo of this. Get these reproduced. And... Um, Get to, maybe get the steering column out here today too. All right, we're back out here this morning to uh, finish the little bit of paint work we have on the vet. You can see we got the door jams prepped here. They're wiped down, tacked off. I'm gonna do the mirror here and uh, the door. So let's uh let's get painting. So we got the, our base on here, got you know, probably three good coats of base, got our mirror done. And again, we're not looking for show quality here, but uh, we want to just freshen things up, make it look better than what it was. So let's uh, get the clear on. All right, we got two coats of clear on here. Doesn't look too bad. That little touch-up gun does a pretty decent job. Gives you a pretty nice shine out of the right out of the gun. I'm just using some MC270 clear. It's been sitting here for a while. So we'll let this dry and uh, this area here 
this only is blacked out. I did the other side with the hot rod black. So I let this dry for a day and mask the door off and do that. So we'll see you next time.